Hello from the Bulldog's Garden. Thought I'd give you a quick tour of what's growing in the garden right now and what we can expect over the next coming weeks. First of all, here is our onion bed. It's looking pretty good. There is also some um, grass growing in there that I intentionally planted, so that's good. Oh, look at the rosemary. The bees are having such a good time on it. As I walk toward the center of the garden, the favas have gotten so big. We can also see the Austrian field peas, and we know we eat the sprouts of that. So um, they are continuing to taste delicious. The fava beans are starting to pod up. They're not quite big enough for eating yet, but they're getting there for sure. This is the bed where our sugar snaps were. They're almost done, but look at all the blossoms on the kale plants and the brassicas and the broccolis. We're not here to eat them, so the bees are having a field day. Look at that, there's our sign. Look at all the fava beans. Now, we didn't plant the fava beans just so that they would give us something to eat. We planted them so the soil would be getting some nutrition. So pretty soon, next time I can get to the garden, I'm gonna need to cut them down. I won't pull them out. Remember, we need the microbes to have something to eat in the soil. But I'll be cutting them down and, oh, what do I see? Oh dear, you see that white moth? We know that's bad news, don't we? It's so pretty. But they're actually laying eggs on our brassica leaves and they are going to give birth to caterpillars that will chomp, chomp, chomp our food. So not making me happy, but I will come and get after that in a little bit. So as I'm walking through, we still have some good chard that's available. The kale is still okay. It's getting a little long, but the Russian kale, Russian red kale right there. More of those luscious, sweet, oh my goodness, look, there's a carpenter bee. Can you see it? Wow, he's so happy. More favas, favas everywhere. And all these bright, delicious flowers that I wish we were all here to eat together. And I'm going over to show you, we've also got a little bit of garlic planted and I wanted to make sure you know the difference between the garlic and the onions should you ever be growing them. 